Jean Beasley, director of the Karen Beasley Sea Turtle Hospital in Surf City, North Carolina, explains one way people are able to mark and identify specific sea turtles. We have this special piece of equipment called a scanner. And this one just beeped for me because I turned it on. Tells me it's ready to scan the turtle. And then we go, if this beeps, it's going to really be funny because I know this turtle doesn't have a mark anywhere in it. But we run it all over the turtle. Make sure that we get everywhere that there might be a little tag which is inserted into the turtle, usually just at the uh, neck on the left hand side at the upper part of the flipper. It's uh, called a pit tag. And it's just like what, a, or a microchip. It's like uh, some of you may know about microchips that go in your dogs and cats. In case they get lost, they use the same type of scanner and that number will be registered to that animal. Well, for our sea turtles, that chip in the shoulder, this one doesn't have any chips, but if there were one there, then that number would be unique to that turtle. No other turtle in the world will have that same number. So if something happened and we uh, might get a message, and by the way, we have gotten messages from uh, different places in the United States that have said, we had a turtle on our beach, and when we scanned it, we found this number, and we called the National uh, Stranding Center, and they told us that this number was from one turtle that you had in your hospital and that you released. So it's always going to identify that turtle.